Hello, what is going on, everyone? It is I, everyone's favorite jack of all trades with the foul mouth coming to Urban. And today, this is a, another update to the 1 400 scale RMS Titanic by Academy. And before I begin, I figure I'd show you this drawing I did of the human form of the Titanic holding the completed model. Hopefully, when the model's complete. And you can see all the detail on her that matches the ship. This is a little shout out to my friend Kanefan701. There you go, buddy. This is the drawing. I've uploaded it, so you guys can take a look. CarsDude.com. Yeah, CarsDude.DVR.com. You can take a look at this picture if you want. Anywho, let's go to model. Right here it is, guys. It's not glued together. I just got it, like I said, stacked up on here. I will show you guys what I have gotten done on her. And I will show you what I've been doing through here. I can tell you right now, it's been... It's really hard to work from several books because you have to... You know, of course, your main instruction guide. And, of course, your... For the window frame detailing set by Tom's Model Works. Then you have not one, but two manuals for the all the detailing stuff, like the wood decking and photo etch. You know, that's what the kit. And then you have, of course, your, you know, your fucking painting guide, which this painting guide is absolutely bullshit. It's not fucking correct. I would not follow it if I were you. If any of you guys have followed that shit, follow that painting guide down to the T. Um, like Mr. T once said, I pity the fool because that shit is absolutely fucking jank. If you really want to follow a good thing, like I said, this book, RMS Titanic, A Model Maker's Manual by Peter Davies Gardner, this book will be your absolutely your fucking best friend when you're working on a model of the Titanic. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this shit I've done. Okay. You can see on the back, the cranes are installed on the poop deck and the aft well deck. And I've also got the crane crutches installed. You can see them. And you can see them. They're right there. And I also did a couple of custom pieces. The low, the two little black things beside the vent are the low rollers. I installed those two. And if you look up on the um, A deck of the ship, you can see the two A deck cranes and their crutches as well. And then you can also see along the A deck area, the entire A deck has been completely windowed and built. Completely, you know, finished around to the front. And that entire deck level is done, and it's been glued to the boat deck. But none of this stuff has been glued on the top yet. So, a few other things have been done to the top. You know, little minor things and shit. As for the front, two more roll uh, low rollers have been installed on the front. Those are custom made. As well as the two forward A deck cranes. Those are installed. And there's two custom vents. You can see them. Um, let me get some to point them out to you. Okay. Uh, right there. And right there. Those are custom made. The, the model did not have those. And the model did not have these uh, low rollers either. I made those myself. Just like I made the steam pipe cover here. And this vent here. So... And the two low rollers are in the back I made as well. Uh, I did a little bit more detailing on the forecastle deck. It's about finished. There's a few little lawns and ends left in the railing and chair court. And of course all the rigging. And yes, I've not done the mast yet. I've not painted either the foremast or the main mast. But in the next few days, that and that will be painted and detailed. Uh, the next few days too, I'm also going to be working on finishing the deck houses and stuff 
on B deck, which include you know, the two private suites on there, the Cafe Parisian, and so on and so forth. Um, there's a bunch of shit here. I got the lifeboats done. Yes, the lifeboats are all done. And they got their, you know, their tack, you know, their wire rigging and shit. And they will glue onto these little, onto these little white things here, if you can see them. Okay, right here, these little white things. And the boats will sit on top of these. Um, and there's a lot of things I still gotta finish up, you know. I've been doing a lot of the uh, windowing about dawn. See? There's not that many windows left. I will do a video and show you guys how I do the windows because somebody asked me, how do you put these photo etch windows on the model? It's a bitch, but I will fucking show you. I will do a special video just to show you guys that. Um, I still got a lot of photo etch here left. You know, like just detail shit. You know, like the benches and ladders and shit. And I got the stairs and the railings. I'm thinking I'm gonna give me a can of white spray paint. I'm just gonna spray all this shit. Because it'll be easier than hand painting it. Just like it'll be much easier to spray all these fucking davits where there's a can of white spray paint than it would to be hand painting them. And then I can just put them on. You can see the little lone bench in the corner. The next few days he will be joined by all his brothers and sisters as I will paint the ends black and I will fold them all using a plastic bench from the kit as a jig and that shit will be done so you know there's just like I said I'm getting to the point now where it's just all the boring shit all the boring shit in the kit and this piece here is for the um, docking bridge I'm going to be cutting this up and modifying it to make it more detailed and work for the photo wedge piece on the stern. Um, you know, I've also got these two wire spreaders that I gotta paint for the Marconi wires that's gonna go above the ship. Those will have to be done. See, I don't have much plastic left. See, I've got a few deck wall house walls and shit left to do. And I've got a few pipes and shit here and there. But overall, it's just a lot of detail and shit. I'll show you guys something real quick. Oh, fuck. If I don't fall off. You can guys kind of have an idea of what this model's gonna look like. It's gonna look really, 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 really fucking awesome. I hate the fact that I fucking fell off again. But oh well. I'll turn this on so you guys can kind of have a kind of an idea of the lights inside the A deck area. That's pretty awesome. Now let's see. I'm not putting this shit on here. This is gonna be pretty cool looking guys. Pretty fucking cool. So yeah, there you have it guys. That's basically it. You know, a lot of the major building is getting done. I'm just getting to the boring parts now, you know, putting the little detailing shit like you know, like the windows, the railing. All that shit. All that shit's gotta be done. And that'll probably cover probably a multitude of the rest of the videos for the build. But I will try to make it exciting and shit for you. Where the hell did that fucking funnel go? Yeah, I hate seeing Titanic with only three funnels. Fucking crazy. Oh yeah, and I still gotta paint the funnels. I don't have, I have the tops painted but not the lower part. I gotta go to Hobby Lobby again. I need to get me a drill so I can drill the portholes out on the bow and the stern. And on the superstructure, there's a few little small portholes I need to drill out. I need to get me a can of white spray paint so I can spray 
my photo etch railings to my davits and get a drawer of tan and yellow paint because tan and yellow are two of the colors I use to make white star buff which you can see it's the color on the funnels on that model of the Titanic <coughs> and I'll be painting <coughs> shit ah yeah, fuck beginning paint these funnels up and then I can go from there so there you have it guys that is it if you have any questions or comments about anything please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back with you if you're new to the channel and you want to keep continuing to watch my progress on my model of the famous RMS Titanic Go ahead and hit that fucking subscribe button and notification bell. Never miss a video of mine. And join the Commodore crew. And until next time, this is Commodore Urban. Saying have smooth seas and clear skies. Happy sailing with you. God bless all of you. Stay safe. And uh, until next time, I'll see you later. Uh, goodbye.